Hey champ, do you know what today is? That's right, it's Mother's Day. And it's your first Mother's Day. So I thought before mom woke up, I'd come in here and you and me could game plan on what the day's gonna look like. Sound good? Cool. So here's what I'm thinking. First, we... <laughs> then after that, we... And for the grand finale, we do a... Uh... Twice. Sound good? Sounds like an awesome day, right? High five. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait for that. So while we're here, I want to talk to you a little bit about Mother's Day. Is that cool? Yeah. So Mother's Day is a lot like other holidays. Some people think that they are the best days of the year. And some people have hard days during the holidays. They're not as easy. See, today could be a weird day for some people because there's so many types of moms and so many different stories about each mom. I know that's confusing. Um, let me try to explain it. So there are moms like your mom and there are moms who come to help children in a different way. Maybe they become a mom because they marry someone's dad or maybe they adopt a boy or a girl or Maybe they help through foster care. They bring a boy or girl into their home. And there's lots of different other ways too. Sometimes even grandmas become moms because their family needs them to. All these different kinds of moms, they have good and bad times, just like your mom will, but sometimes in different ways. But they're all moms. And we wanna show all of them our respect and our love. Then there are moms who've had sad days and bad times, and they're just as important to us today. Even though they might not be celebrating the way that you and I are today. Some moms have had to say goodbye to their boys and girls before they even met them. And some, even after they've seen them grow up, they've had to say goodbye. Sometimes moms and their kids disagree and they have a hard time getting along and so a day like today could be a sad day too. But we show those moms our love and our respect too. And then there are other moms. It's pretty cool that there's so many, right? These moms might not have kids of their own, but they do things for you and for others that show a mother's love. When she helps maybe tie your shoe or teaches you a new word or shows you kindness, that someone being a mom. Moms aren't just moms because they have babies. We can tell who they are by how they love the people around them. I could keep talking more and more to you about different types of moms and different ways that people are moms and aunts and sisters and cousins. But here's what I really want you to know. This world is filled with women. Half the population and in most cases, they're not treated equal to us guys. And you and me, we gotta do our part to change that. We gotta treat them with respect and honor them. Treat them as equals. Fight for them so that they get things like equal pay and recognition for the things that they do and the trouble they put up with. And one of the ways we can do that today is by honoring all the women in our life and telling them that we respect them and we are grateful for them in all the roles that they play in our life. Sound good? Sounds good. Oh, oh, I think, I think we just found mom's first Mother's Day present, don't you? Let's go give it to her.